There is many people worldwide that are confronting the proximity of death or experiencing the grief of those relatives and friends that are already dead. So this is the difficult situation to handle because the conditions uh, of coronavirus pandemics implies uh, confinement or the impossibility to go and stand by our relatives uh, in the hospitals or in the residential homes. And also when they die, to be there to say goodbye according to their faith, their beliefs or our cultural traditions. As a society, we were behaving like in a mourning process of shock and negation, like the first shock when we did not even recognize that what was happening in China was not an isolated, a temporal uh, situation that we could affect everybody else. And now that it's here, then we still get very um, uh, nervous, anxious, and uh, we have a lot of hunger. We look for who is the guilty one, and this also belongs as a society, as a, work, as a process of um, mourning, because we cannot handle as a society what is happening everywhere in the world at the same time. We see that all these stages are reproduced um, uh, in the individuals and in the society. And the society, unfortunately, is going one step behind the individuals. The individuals are doing much better according to their faith, doesn't matter which, uh, their beliefs and their traditions. But the society has some restrictions because has to find a solution that one model that fits it all. The message that we are providing to our society are very much focused on the technical efforts, on the economical efforts, on the organizational efforts, on the structural efforts. The confrontation with death will, and the grief for our families and friends will be uh, less traumatic if uh, the governments and the society will provide more uh, efforts on uh, the human part, spiritual part of this grief, uh, the same, in the same way they are doing at the technical level.